Hola, folks. I am the one. The I am El Vagabundo Rosobo. And you know why I'm here. It's not to play with El Gato over here. But I'm here to give you some predictions about Slammiversary. One of the more exquisite wrestling events. Probably the better of the two. Wrestling events happening this Saturday. That if you watch El Hobo and his girlfriend wrestling channel, you shall see parts of. But I'm here to give predictions, so hit my music. There we go. Now with a proper introduction out of the way. Right, El Gato? <laughs> She's cute. Let's get to the predictions. Yes, and we're going to, and I have no idea which order these matches are in. So we'll just start at the bottom of the list. We have Moose. El Moose. Versus Senior Dreamer, Tommy Dreamer. So, El Moose versus Senior Dreamer. This is, see, my stone cold lock. Moose. Retains his TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Then the next match is a tag team match. It's a Lucha Libre. Well, no. No, but it's a tag team match featuring the North taking on Ken Shamrock and Sammy Callahan for the Impact Tag Team Championships. This could be very interesting. Indeed. I have Ken Shamrock and Sammy Callahan, a most dysfunctional tag team winning. Then we have a or La Senora's Battle Royale. Then we have, and this as you can tell, I did by process of elimination. Because I knew who was not going to win. And by that, I figured out who would win. So we have Alicia Edwards versus Jessica Havoc versus Princess Kimberly versus Kiara Hogan versus Kylie Ray versus Susie versus Nevia versus Madison Lorraine versus Rosemary versus Tasha Seals, versus Taya Valkyrie. I forget if they called this... Oh. Not the... I think it's the same concept as a Royal Rumble. Um, so... Unfortunately, this is going to be my siesta match. Because, wow, it's so sunny outside stuff. I don't know, just by process of elimination, Kylie Ray wins. Again, I'll probably be taking a nap during that match. I'll be doing other stuff. Then we have Willie Mack versus Chris Bay in my match of the night. And this is for the X Division Championship. And I think just to keep things interesting, because this is their big show, to keep things interesting, to keep momentum going, Chris Bay actually wins. So again, that's something different. So I have a... Uh, well, I have one... Two belts changing hands and one belt. We'll see. Oh, I have to do this tomorrow, too. Shoot. 
Then we have for the Knockouts Championship, we have Signora Jordan Grace taking on Diana Prazzo. Again, for me, Jordan Grace retains that belt. Diana Prazzo, she mimics and pokes fun at my princess, Kimberly. So therefore, she's going to lose. Jordan Grace retains her belt. And eventually we'll see Kylie Ray versus Jordan Grace. So that should be good. Then we have the Fatal 4-Way now. So we have Ace Austin. And this is for the Impact World Championship. We have Ace Austin versus Eddie Edwards versus Trey. And in my bonus... I say EC3 shows up and he claims the vacant Impact World Championship. So this is going to be a fun card. So I have EC3 winning. This is my bonus. I would not be surprised if Eric Young showed up. And then for the tag team match, I would not also be surprised if there's an ace is an eight with El Machine Gunner Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows. So again, that would, con that would again, they had the three whiskey glasses. So that's three wrestlers coming back. Tres. And you have Ise Tres winning everything. Indeed. So stay tuned because we're going to have another guest. Yes, Dr. Tom shall come and give his predictions about probably the lesser of the two pay per views this weekend. Again, watch and stay tuned for Hobo Tom cannot show the whole clip because he's saving that for Triple Mania. And I hope that happens. Because, again, I would like to see that. And I don't... I want to make sure he doesn't get banned for that. So, again, stay tuned, folks. We're going to have a little break. Can't believe... I'm back. Time I tried to get out. They pulled me right back in. For I'm the much more learned person. Of all the people that have been on the show. I do appear a little bit scruffy. Ah. Double, double. Toil and trouble. Fire burning cauldron bubble. Stars, hide your fires. Let not light shine on my dark and deep desires. For those of you who are uneducated, that comes from, of course, the bard himself, William Shakespeare. For I am here to talk about this horror show. So first, a more proper introduction. I'm a learned Dr. Tom. Yes. Again, literacy prevails. Even though I'm the hovel of, of, of Hobo Tom, who obviously has, has not vacuumed or cleaned. So there's blood stain, there's cat fur, there are wild beasts running rampant through this house. As you just saw, only redeeming quality is his selection of fine scotches. But I'm here to talk about a most intriguing event. That is the horror show 
Extreme rules. Indeed. Well, I'm going to give my most learned predictions. And let's go through the matches. In the first match, these are very cinematic and have the flair of the theater. We have Jeff Hardy taking on Sheamus in a barroom brawl. Sheamus did one over on Jeff Hardy the last show. This is Jeff Hardy's chance to get revenge for making fun of his addiction problems. We have Apollo Crews. Finally, Apollo Crews being well used in the WWE versus the master himself, MVP. Apollo Crews unifies the U.S. Championship and carries that most spectacular looking belt. Bailey takes on Nikki Cross for the SmackDown Women's Championship belt. This could be most entertaining. Because it is Nikki Cross and Bailey, two excellent female grapplers. This shall be my match of the night. For Bailey prevails and she retains the belt. But Nikki Cross, even though she comes from the Jutland which is Scotland, to all you uneducated people out there who refuse to go back to the classroom and instead want to watch YouTube videos on how to perform extreme mathematical computations and other such things of academia and say you are educated. No, you need to go back to the classroom and learn in a proper setting. Oscar then takes on Sasha Banks for the WWE Women's Championship. This also should be a very entertaining match, a good pure contest. As long as we get Sasha Banks and not Sasha Botch. But Oscar shall be victorious in leading to dissent between the Banks. Sasha Banks and her supposed best friend Bailey. Well, if something is afoot, I fear, saith Macbeth. Oh, another wild beast left in this house. Terrible. And then, oh, why? Oh, why? Alas, poor Yuri. I knew him well. We have Rey Mysterio taking on Seth Rollins in, an, in a very religiously themed match, which I do not approve of from Seth Rollins. It's too close to home in the I versus I match. In order to win, you must pluck out your opponent's eye. There have been rumors and speculation because of the because of Seth Rollins' actions in the past and his fornication and deflowering of one Rebecca Lynch, Seth Rollins might want to take some time off. It matters not. This is a match that most of us will sleep through for this is a snooze time match. And s but yet yeah, Ray Mysterio, he's getting advanced in his age. Hmm, very difficult. Very difficult to say. I shall go to WWE Math. But Seth Rollins was defeated by Kevin Owens. So therefore, 
math says if you lose on the go home show you shall be victorious seth rollins somehow by some means wins and does a dastardly grotesque heel action of removing the eye and holding in his hand the vitreous of Rey Mysterio Jr. Then in probably much more better cinematic quality match, again, one true for of this barter town, this barter state, the wilds of Florida. We have Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt. Again, there has been some sightings on this channel of a broken individual as well <laughs> yeah someone someone wanted to talk to me man i don't know why but you mentioned being broken you mentioned being crushed your soul just ripped from you people telling you you're worthless man yeah man it's always good to get a little crazy. Ah! So in this match, we have it in the swamp, baby. You know what that means? Oh, yeah, there's going to be some gators running around. You never know about them raccoons either, man. Yeah! So you know what? I'll take this from here, you learning son of a guy. And I'll tell you what, folks. I have Braun Strowman winning because this is Bray Wyatt, the cult leader, man. So you never know what's quite going to happen. We haven't seen The Fiend yet, man. This would be definitely one of those better matches. And now I got to get back to some stuff. What the? the God damn it. That hobo, he, leaves, he needs to change his locks. I must protect. Oh, yes. And take care of. And possibly enjoy the most finest drinks that somehow this hobo either stole or acquired. And his scotch. Indeed. But again, I don't know what happened but I think Braun Strowman is going this is what happens when you let wildlife run rampant in Bumtona Beach and I hate coming here. This is terrible, terrible SCU they don't know what they're talking about. Bumtona Beach is the worst town ever. But yes Braun Strowman defeats Bray Wyatt to carry on until the Fiend shows up. Yes. And then, in the final match of the night, the, probably the main event of the evening, we have, from again, the Jutlin of Greater Britannia, we have Drew McIntyre taking on Dolph Ziggler and what is my Stone Cold Lock. Drew McIntyre, he's not dropping that belt anytime soon. Unless he's not dropping it anytime soon. Drew McIntyre retains the WWE Championship. Dolph Ziggler is whatever. For on behalf of El Vagabundo, who seems so much more civilized now. Compared to what, what other Denzines live in this Barger town of a city, I'm going to take care of Hobo Tom's somehow very good and very well aged scotch. From let's see here, does it have a date on it? No, but. <sighs> Has a nice seal on it though. 
It's very fancy. <laughs> oh, look at that dust. Oh, wait. What is this from? It's a stamp. But the date's not on there. It's before they had to put years on stamps. Ooh, indeed. I shall be taking very good care of this and keep this for safe keepings from who knows what creatures come from the depths of, of even the Dante himself in the Inferno could not even conjure up a deer and enjoy the wrestling. Bye.